It's time for this week's CBS 42 House Calls. Fall officially here, and now is time to start thinking about fall health. That means flu season. So joining us now with more on how to make sure you and your family stay healthy is our resident doctor, Dr. Celeste Reese Willis. Good to see you, Dr. Celeste. Good morning, Ani. How are you? Doing well. I am flu free as of right now, but hey. uh, we know it's going to be here soon enough. So, um, a lot of people calling for the flu shot. Go ahead and get that flu shot early. Why is that important this season? Because we didn't see as much of it last season, right? You're right, exactly. We did not see a lot of it last year. And one of the main reasons we did not see a lot of it last year is due in part to this. We all were wearing masks. So there wasn't a lot of area for respiratory droplets to travel from one person to another and infect you with flu because we were already using masks. Now that everyone, well, 54% of the country has been vaccinated, you know, a lot of people are not, they're no longer using masks. And so, you don't have that layer of protection. So we definitely want to make sure that everyone gets their flu shot this year. That's interesting. Come to think of it, my kids didn't have the ear infections and the strep like uh -huh. we usually have last year. So there yeah. you go. Um, concerns yes. about this year's flu season as we're in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, what can people do to stay healthy with this uh, threat of a, a dual pandemic or a twindemic as they're calling it? So the first thing that they want to do is make sure they have all their vaccinations on board. You want to make sure that you're fully vaccinated for COVID-19, which means you want to make sure you've had at least two doses. If you fall in that group that qualifies for a third dose or you're immunocompromised, you want to make sure you have that third dose. In addition, you need the flu vaccine this year. This year is a year. Last year, there were a lot of people that got the flu vaccine in anticipation of having to fight two viral respiratory illnesses at once. We definitely need that at this point uh, with what we're looking at with the COVID-19 pandemic and this Delta variant we're still fighting. Right, and then more variants on the heels of the Delta variant and, and so forth and yes, so on. What about uh, thoughts of people getting the flu shot and the vaccine for COVID at the same time or, or close together? What's the time frame they should consider for that? Well, the CDC has said that you can get them both at the same time, and you absolutely can get them both at the same time. You just want to make sure that if you do get them both at the same time, that you give yourself ample opportunity to rest, make sure you're hydrating, things of that nature. If you want to space them out, which some people like to do that, uh, you can continue to space them out at that two-week interval. We just want to make sure, you know, in September, this is the time of year that we prepare uh, to have a good flu season, and a good flu season means decreased cases of flu, and that means making sure as many people get vaccinated as possible. All right, I'm going to go drink some water, get my flu shot. Dr. <laughs> Celeste, great to see you this morning. All right, good to see you too. Have a good Monday. You too. And don't forget, you can send your questions to Dr. Celeste. Just email us at housecalls at cbs42.com or you can message us on Facebook. We'll be right back here on the CBS 42 Morning News.